Hey, this is John with Website Hosting Pros, and today I want to talk about what is WordPress hosting. Uh, first, before we talk about what WordPress hosting is specifically, I do want to mention a little bit about WordPress. This can be confusing sometimes for people uh, because most people think of a WordPress website, and but then there's actually two different types of WordPress. There's WordPress.com. Uh, now this is a actually service that uses the website soft the WordPress I'm sorry this is a web, wordpress.com is a service that integrates the WordPress software into into helping you make a website wordpress.org is the actual WordPress uh, CMS and software uh, the CMS the content management system and the software as the WordPress uh, as the website builder. So uh, WordPress it is open source. It's free. Uh, you can use it to make a website. Um, you know, almost half, right? Forty three percent of websites use WordPress software, uh, and that's everything from small, you know, kind of personal blogs all the way to really big sites online. Use that. The, one of the big differences is WordPress.org. Again, that is the actual software. So you're going to need to have your own domain. You're going to have to have your own hosting, do your own maintenance, etc. But it gives you complete flexibility and complete autonomy because it's completely yours. Now, if you use WordPress.com, again, this is more of a service. They provide domain names. They provide hosting. They do the maintenance. Um and they use the WordPress software. However, um, you're going to be more limited. You cannot use any theme that you want or any plugin that you want on WordPress.com service. So just be aware of the difference. So when we talk about WordPress hosting, we're talking about hosting that is going to use the WordPress software so you can have complete autonomy in how your site looks, the function, the feel, the design, the layout, etc. So, now that we have that distinction in place, let's talk about what are some of the pros and the cons with WordPress. Okay, so WordPress uh, software that's used to build websites, there's, it has some you know, nice pros. It is free, oops, if I can type, free. It is open source. Um, it's fairly, easy to use um, and it has over a hundred thousand themes and plugins so you can really make it very unique um, to you and what you need it what you need your site to do the two big uh, downsides to using wordpress software to build a website have always been security you know sites getting hacked uh, through things not being updated, uh, the themes, the plugins, etc. And also because of the size of the database that's used, and also depending on how many different plugins you're using, uh, they can make your website slower. And so there can be a speed issue. Um, so a lot of great pros, but certainly a couple big uh, negatives that you need to consider. So when you go to different hosting companies, again, here's my favorites, A2, Bluehost, SiteGround, and Hostinger. When you go to them, most of them are going to have a specific type of hosting called WordPress hosting. Sometimes it's called WordPress managed hosting, but it's a type of shared hosting that is specifically optimized for sites using the WordPress software. Now you can build WordPress software on regular uh, shared web hosting without a doubt. So why would you uh, get WordPress hosting? Well a couple advantages. WordPress hosting is really uh, a good option if you're only going to have maybe just one site so maybe you're going all in on a blog or a company website or a business website and you want it to function at its best. Okay, um, because the advantages to having WordPress hosting is that it is going to be optimized so that your WordPress, so that your website built with the WordPress software 
is going to be optimized for security and speed. Most um, WordPress hosting companies are going to do automatic updates, so you don't have to worry about security holes or you know patches or you know getting hacked. So there's much less concern. Uh, so they're going to have much much tighter uh, security, and then um, they're going to be uh, optimized servers that you're on. So the speed tends to be much much better. So the two big negatives that we talked about uh, are overcome with a WordPress uh, hosting plan. Uh, Bluehost, uh, they have their own section actually for WordPress called WordPress Hosting or Managed WordPress. Um, and some will offer a difference. So WordPress Hosting uh, and Managed, um, very similar. Managed is usually going to cost a little more because they're doing all the WordPress uh, things in the background for you. Um, where regular WordPress hosting, you may need to do your own updates, etc. But the servers are uh, maybe better to manage a WordPress site. Uh, SiteGround, I believe, just calls theirs WordPress hosting, managed WordPress. And then Hostinger um, has, right, WordPress hosting, again, optimized for WordPress hosting using the WordPress software. So, um, WordPress hosting does typically cost a little bit more, um, and that's because they're doing uh, a lot of things for you, right? And so, okay, here on A2, they do have a shared um, WordPress web hosting. Um, and then, oh, actually, I'm sorry, this is their just regular shared web hosting, and then their managed WordPress. And so you can see the, the price difference, right? So WordPress hosting starts the cheapest, if you pay three years in advance, it's going to be $11.99 a month, but that's paying for three years in advance. If you're getting just one month, you're going to be paying $24 a month. So that's the starting plan. That's one Word, WordPress website. That's it. So quite a bit more than their starting shared plan, which one month is $10.99, so less than 50% of the WordPress, the managed WordPress hosting, and if you pay three years in advance, just three dollars a month. So you can see quite a price difference. Um, let's see, you know, Bluehost, what they're saying, their price as far as their pricing. Um, so again, this is one year in advance, two ninety five for for one website. Um, now this is essentially a shared hosting plan. When we go to their managed, again, I think you're going to see the price difference. So right, so again, it's going to start at. Uh, normally $20 a month, so similar to A2, but if you buy three months in advance, then it's $10 a month uh, just for one website. So again, very similar. Um, if you go to SiteGround and their, their pricing, um, uh, managed WordPress, so it actually is, is quite better. So normally $15 a month, uh, but you can get the first year, or this might be a multi-year at $3.99, so that's actually... Uh, a little better pricing, and then Hostinger, let's see where their pricing is at. Um, so pretty good. Uh, WordPress, a single, you know, one site, a dollar normally $10, $1.99. That, again, that's probably, oh, and then $4 when you renew. So actually pretty good. So Hostinger may be. I'll leave links for all these um, A2, Bluehost, SiteGround, and Hostinger in the description box below the video. And uh, Hostinger... At least it looks like right now for WordPress hosting may be uh, the way to go. Now, the only thing is this doesn't say if it's managed, right? Because there is quite a difference between just WordPress hosting where the servers are optimized so, and it'll help. But it may not necessarily be um, managed, meaning where they're doing the update, the security updates and, and things like that. So, um so that's kind of the the main diff uh, the main thing with WordPress hosting. To be honest, I run all my WordPress built websites through my A2 hosting uh, VPS, uh, virtual private server, and it works great. Now these are, you know, much more expensive, <laughs> so you know they're starting at forty dollars a month. Um, now that's managed. Managed means. It has a regular C panel, a control panel, uh, much easier, you know, to, to manage it on your own because they're taking care of all the, 
the hosting company is taking care of all the technical things in the background, you can get unmanaged VPS, which is much cheaper, but you have to do all the technical things. So I use a managed VPS, much more expensive, um, but the sites run great, very fast, etc. And so that could be another option, uh, getting a VPS instead of uh, WordPress or WordPress managed hosting. But I hope that explains what WordPress hosting is and gives you some insights. Um, WordPress software has been around since 2003 and again makes up almost 50% of the websites that you see online today. So um, certainly something that you need to keep in mind is making sure you're going to get hosting that's going to be able to um, address uh, the two big cons associated with using WordPress software, and that is uh, potential security issues, uh, which if you're keeping everything up to date yourself and doing some other security uh, things as far as your logins and um, strength of usernames and passwords, you can manage a lot of that yourself. And then speed, the key there is just if you get good hosting, um, as you as you probably know if you're watching my videos, I'm a big fan of A2 hosting. They definitely have, I think, the fastest servers because they don't overload their servers with too many users and so they're um, hosting their regular just shared web hosting is great uh, for their speed uh, so hope that helps thanks so much for watching and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below